Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. Today I wanted to give you a basic guide on how to choose the proper attachments for your guns so you don't always have to go online and search up the best attachments for your guns. But first of all, thank you very much for 100 subscribers. This really means a lot to me. And if you're watching this video while not having subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Do it. So back to the guns. This will just be a simple brief overview. I try to explain my points, but I'm not going in depth like I do in my gun guides. So yeah, we start off with your sights and here the base thing is you never want to run iron sights, you want to have at least one scope on it. And for all the guns, except for bolt action sniper rifles, use a holo or red dot or whatever you want to call it. The best sight in this game is the fusion holo in my opinion, but if this sight is not available to your guns since some guns don't have this sight, you can also go with the K8 holo. They're both really good, give you so much clarity and yeah, the best scopes even on long range guns like marksman rifles. I would still advise you to have a 1.25 as your first option and if you need to have a second scope for longer range engagements, I would always advise you to use the mall hybrid. Not only has the scope a very nice clear side picture but also if you're in a pinch you can always switch to the red dot on top for a better close range fighting chance. So if you have both those spots filled with a close range and long range optic you can also choose a thermoscope either the 1.25 or the 2.5 times. I don't really use them on a lot of guns but they can be quite useful. Now as for magazines I make this very simple. The magazine with the most ammo per mag is in the first slot and the, the last two slots you just fill them up with the magazines with the second most ammo so that you can switch in a pinch but you usually don't need to switch. Now as for barrels it's the same as it is for magazines in terms of how easy it is to choose. First of all every gun that has a shortened barrel equip it. You get a faster rate of fire meaning your TTK goes up and when you kill faster you usually win more gunfights. So if your gun doesn't have the short barrel the second best option so on almost every gun is the tactical compensator since weapon accuracy is always worth more than recoil control since most guns in this game don't have any recoil so it's better to spec into weapon accuracy accuracy so you can hit your shots better on range. If for some reason the gun you're choosing has way too much recoil for you to personally handle, you could also use the war compensator but you should always think about how do you use your gun. For example, if you play a lot of long range with your gun, it might be better to start trying to improve your recoil control since with a wall compensator you lose weapon accuracy and you feel the loss of weapon accuracy. If you have a gun that is like close quarters dominant, the AEK for example, their wall, co wall compensator isn't too bad since you're not going with the AEK and shooting people at like 100 meters. So having less weapon accuracy on a close quarters gun is not that bad. But overall I would say shorten barrel first if you don't have a shorten barrel a tactical compensator and if you really can't hit your shots with a tactical compensator then go with the warhawk and in your second spot you should always use the rep suppressor simply put you rather lose projectile velocity than effective range for grips we also make this very easy for most people out there, the BCG light grip is the best grip you can use on your gun. Why? Because it gives you more accuracy while ADSing and the fire accuracy penalty is not too high, but also because you don't have to fulfill a condition to get the accuracy. With the LVG grip, you need to be moving and when I see my teammates shoot their gun or the enemy shoot their gun, a lot of them are not moving, so most people don't get any use out of this grip. They actually make their gun worse. So for most people, BCG light grip, if you know how to play this game and you're not as lazy as I am, go with the LVG grip. But for most people, BCG light grip, best option. And then lastly, for those that play very close quarters guns, a close quarters map and need a laser. Obviously the laser sight is good since it gives you better hip fire, but the better option is the STNR laser, but this is only available on a few guns. So you have to look if your gun has these attachments or not. And also you need to unlock it. I think for most guns is 60 hip fire kills to unlock this. And what this does is it gives you more hip fire than a normal laser since it gives you fire accuracy while moving. And the thing is when you're hip firing, you're always moving. You're not standing somewhere hip firing people. So use this. And this also gives you recoil control. So for this, I would say you should mainly use this laser sight if you want better hip fire and not to control recoil. If you want to recoil control, choose the war compensator. This attachment is really only useful if you want better hip fire or if you play on redacted. Since redacted is a very close quarters map, having the benefit of hip fire and recoil control 
outweighs the negatives of not having more accuracy overall. But yeah, that's basically it. To put it all together very shortly, close range scope, magazine with the most ammo, BCG light grip, short barrel when available. If not, you go with the tactical compensator. Of course, there are exceptions out there. Some guns might need other attachments, while other guns might be better functioning with, for example, not any barrel, but the basic one, so the factory barrel. But that's very gun dependent. But overall, if you follow the, those routes, most ammo per mag, BCG grip, short barrel or tactical compensator and a one time scope, you should perform way better than from what I'm seeing in game when I see people run redacted with an ACOG on their gun. But yeah, I hope this help you, helped you out. If it did, consider leaving a like and subscribing for future Battlefield content. As always, thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.